Hello guys, I would like to welcome you to another episode of Homeschooling with Zena Zhang. Of course I am not Zena Zhang, but um, however I am her father. And we are going to be reading a series, uh, the National Geographic series, Explore My World. And this one happens to be about rainforests. I own the book. Okay, so i rather read the book and then you can see the, the photos and we can read along. So, uh, shall we? Let's go. So, um, this is the rainforest. Explore my world. Uh, rainforest by Marfe Ferguson. Delano. Okay, join the jungle predators and colorful treetop birds that thrive in a lush, lush forest landscape. And so it also has a, a photo of the jaguar. It's not exactly the same, but uh, the words are not exactly the same. Okay, so let's begin. Isn't that such a, a beautiful photo? The National Geographic it, it, it is great. I mean, since I was young, they've gone even before me. Yeah. Gleaming green leaves, deep dark shade, hot, steamy. Air, soft ground beneath your feet. Welcome to the rainforest. From lemon colored snakes to lime colored lizards, from electric blue butterflies to petal pink bugs. Rainforests are full of amazing animals. Wow, that must be a praying mantis, I do believe, on your right. A pink praying mantis. Fascinating. Slither on the dark and shady forest Floor. Huge pythons slip through fallen twigs and leaves. Enormous tarantulas tiptoe across roots. Poison dart frogs hop like jumping jewels. So this would be the uh, tarantula. This would be the python. This would be the poison dart frog. Don't ever touch that thing and then put your hands back in your mouth. No, don't do that. It's one of the most poisonous animals on the planet. Sleek tigers slink through shadows. The forest floor is the bottom level of the rainforest. Shaggy bears shuffle along looking for fruit and bugs to eat. Swoosh! Big bats swoop through leafy shrubs and twisting vines. Billions of bugs creep crawl, flit, and flutter. I just saw a Goliath beetle there. In the understory, tree kangaroos climb, leopards lounge, and lizards leap. Oh, it's the chameleon. Is that a chameleon? The understory 
is the level of shrubs, vines, and small trees above the forest floor. Roar! High up in a canopy, howler monkeys whoop and roar. Macaws screech and toucans croak. The canopy level is above the understory. It contains the leaves and branches of giant trees. Here, hummingbirds zip from flower to flower, sparkling in the sunshine. Acrobatic monkeys swing from vine to vine. Red-eyed tree frogs leap from branch to branch. Mossy-furred sloths hang still as statues. Split, splat, splatter, boom. A thunderstorm moves in, in, sorry. A thunderstorm moves in. Rain pours onto the canopy and beats against the leaves. It fills the cup-shaped plants called bromeliads with water that creatures will drink and live in. It rolls down the tree trunks and drips off the vines onto the dark and shady forest floor. Can you say, bro me lad? Rain falls nearly every day. All the plants and animals in the rainforest, from orchids to owls to orangutans, depend upon the rain. Okay, so we got owls and orchids and orangutans. Drip, drop. Rain is what makes the rainforest so rich and full of life. And it makes beautiful rainbows. Rain forest layer cake. A rainforest is like a cake with four layers stacked, one atop the other. Each layer or level is a different neighborhood with different kinds of animals living in it. Which layer would you most like to explore? A toucan. Emergent layer. The fourth layer is the emergent layer. It consists of the very tallest treetops which poke above the canopy here and there. Canopy. The third layer is the canopy. It contains the leaves and branches of the towering trees that stretch over the rainforest like great green umbrellas. Flowers, ferns, and masses grow, or mosses, excuse me. Flowers, ferns, and mosses grow on the bark of canopy trees. It is bright and sunny up here. Understory. The second layer is the understory. It is filled with shrubs, small trees, and thick 
vines winding their way toward the treetops. Forest floor. The bottom layer is the forest floor. It is covered with roots, fallen leaves, and low growing plants. It is very dark and shady here because the trees above it block most of the sunlight. Hmm, very interesting. Rain forests around the world. Tropical rainforests are very special places. In fact, more than half of all the different plants and animals on Earth live in rainforests. That's why it is so important to protect rainforests and keep them healthy. The plants and animals that live there need their rainforest homes to survive. Map key. Where tropical rainforests are. This map shows where on earth tropical rainforests are located. Can you find where you live on the map? So all the green places you got. South America has probably the most rainforests in the world. I was speaking with my students, and I teach students in, in Shanghai. And they told me, oh, there are rainforests in North America. And I said, no, there aren't. And as you can see, in Central America and South America, there are rainforests. There are no rainforests in North America, which is where I'm from. Um, in Africa, you know, uh, this is very, some people might tell you that Africa might have more rainforest than South America, but it seems that uh, the place that have the most uh, rainforest is probably South Asia. So as you can see, and uh, that's amazing, right? Hide and seek. Some rainforest creatures are very good at hiding in plain sight. Can you spot the animals in each picture? Hmm. I have to look at my book here. I can see one looks like, I don't know if that's a snail, the first one. I'm not sure. But you can check it out. I know the six the sixth one is a, a stick bug. Name that food. Many of the foods we love to eat today were first discovered growing in rainforests. Can you name the foods in these pictures? Which ones do you like most? Mangoes, oranges, coffee beans, coconuts, bananas, lemons, pineapple, chocolate. And we have finished. So I hope that you enjoyed Explore My World, Rainforest by National Geographic Kids. And later on, I will be reading others. So hopefully you will like and subscribe and tell your friends.